Swift. Um, so let's go ahead oh, and jump cool. into the picture stuff. Okay. So under insert, if I go to background image, which is how you bring in pictures, um, you're going to see this screen. It's going to probably feel more complicated than it is. All you need to know is that this red box right here up on the top left, this is your sign. And the image behind it is how much larger that image is compared to your sign. Okay, I'll so, you. It's very easy to resize pictures, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll pick one of yours, right? So, uh, oh, my, I think both of those are PNGs, right? Uh, so, my, yeah, that, uh, and uh, yeah. can you use the other one? The other one? The one that, yeah, Go yeah, Pirates, they're both, yep. They're both PNGs. Is that, so, not, is that not good? That's not a huge problem. They do need to be JPEGs to work. But oh. There's a website called png to jpg.com that you can use to well, well, them. Don't, don't, don't worry about my signs then. Uh, let's see what you've got in the little catalog you sent me. I, you, I, okay. just, I just have to make sure that when I get one of those, it's JPG. Yep, and like I said, even if it's not, there's a million different websites like this one, PNG to JPG. You can basically just add whatever files you want and then hit download and it'll convert them to, J to JPEG. So okay. there's definitely ways to get any picture to work, but it's obviously easier if you just get them as a JPEG. Yes, All right? perfect. So if I go to insert background image, let's go ahead and pick one of mine. So I'll go to browse. Do you have anything? Then, uh, do you have anything for car washing? Um, well, Tommy's has some custom content, I believe, that we send out with these signs, but I'm not sure if you were given it or not. I didn't get none of that. How can I get that? Um, I don't know. I'd have to look into that all later. Right. That sounds um, good. I don't know. I, I'm not in control of all that, but if, I'll, I'll certainly ask our marketing team and see if I can send you a Tommy's package or something like that. Yeah, thank you. That would be great. Let me see, though. Yeah, so, yeah, I think maybe this one was sent with like three of the files. So there's free mat washers, buy one, get one, this and that and the other, but there's definitely more available. I'll see if I can get that to you and I'll email it to you if I find it, all right? Thank you. But uh, anyway, so for our stuff, uh, that sign graphics folder I made on your main uh, desktop. So if you open that up, oops, sorry. So there's just, kind of a uh, assortment of different backgrounds. You have education, food and beverage, holidays, uh, different different categories here. But if I open up backgrounds, um, you got an automotive one, you have a blue background that's got some graphic behind it, you have a cat here, you got a Santa, you got clouds, you got all these different kind of things that you can use as backgrounds, uh, disco ball, um, all kinds of things, and each category is going to have different, basically, graphics that you can choose from and use, like, let's say the summer sun one, right? So if I open that up, again, our image is a little bit larger than our sign, so if you ever do, and you can use Google Images, too, you know, you can just go on Google Images and search whatever you want and use those as backgrounds, so you're not limited to the ones that we offer, but you can certainly look through all of ours and see if you like any of them. Now, when you use an image, does it have to be a certain format or... Just JPEG, that's it. Right. So as long as it's a JPEG, it doesn't matter what the size is, what the shape is, because I'll show you how easy it is to, to get the picture to fit. So right now, even from the ones that I sent you, they're a little bit larger, right? We can see there's more picture going on outside of our box. Yes. So if I want to get that whole picture to fit my sign, all you got to do is click one time on that picture up here, and then it'll automatically suck that whole image up and fit it on my sign, which we see down here in the middle. Okay. So again, if you have your red box here, this is how it shows up. If you want to get the whole image to fit, you just click on it one time. That box will go away, and it'll make sure that the entire image fits on your sign. Okay, I've got you. Excellent. And what's even cooler is you can draw your own box. So if you just want just the sun to be the whole background, you can just create your box around the sun, and it'll it'll fit whatever you have in that box on your sign. Okay. But obviously, if you want to use the whole image, which I recommend usually, just click on the image and it'll make it fit. Okay. But import that. Now we have a nice background here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So then I could type in whatever I want to type in. Um, I'll resize my text box to be the whole sign. Or you can even shape the box to be wherever you want. So this blue, bo this purple outline box that I'm playing around with is my text box, which basically makes it so that I cannot type anywhere outside of this box. Okay. 
So if I wanted to type a message but I didn't want it to go over the sun up here, I could just drag my text box to end where the sun begins, right? So all, my entire message will only be on this part of the sign. Okay. So it's pretty cool and it's pretty nice to be able to control that. So I could do summer is almost over. Get a car wash. I don't know. I'm just making something up. Um, so you can kind of play around with that. You can play around with the different colorings. You can um, do everything that I showed you previously. Um, all the sizing, the coloring, the shadowing, the in and out mode. All that stuff you can still do even if you have a background image. So you're not limited to any of the functionality. Okay. All right. So that's how you would bring in pictures. As long as they're a JPEG, like I said, it doesn't matter what the original size is or anything like that. You just go to insert background image, find the image by browsing for it on your computer. And then if it's too big, you just click on it and that'll automatically resize it for you. Okay. All right. Make sense? Makes sense, yes sir. All right, and then video. Uh, video is a little tricky if you're trying to use outside videos because uh, this is way more specific in what they need to be. Um, first off, they need to be an AVI file format. A so okay, just AVI. like pictures need to be JPGs, uh, videos need to be AVI. Okay. And what's, what's even more complicated is they, they cannot have any audio in the video. So if you, know, if you wanted to try to just grab a YouTube video and, and it's an AVI or whatever, um, it won't work if it has audio. So there are certain programs that can remove audio from videos, but um, I can't recommend anyone uh, exactly because um, we, we don't really have a program that'll remove audio from videos. Um, but one program I do use, which I, I've been recommending, even though I probably shouldn't, uh, it's a free program. It's called any video converter and okay. I'll put this on a little notepad in case you ever wanted to look into it. Um, and what's cool about this program is it'll let you take any video and turn it into an AVI. And then it also gives you an option to remove audio. So, oh, okay. That's uh, pretty, pretty nice. nice program. That's pretty oh, neat. Sorry? That's pretty neat. A, a quick question. You know with the videos, yeah. could you actually use, you know how they've got, is it like the GIFs or the memes? Yeah, GIFs, uh, no, so you would have to find a program. I think even any video converter could do it, but you would have to, because GIFs automatically repeat. That's basically what a GIF is, is it's just a short clip that'll automatically restart itself. Um, so our, our signs will not work with GIFs because um, it wouldn't know when to stop playing it because it would just keep going and going and going. So only videos with a start and an end will work. Okay. So there are ways to convert GIFs into AVIs. I think you could even do it with that program I mentioned, but I haven't personally looked into that because we don't really use GIFs on the side. Okay. But anyway, so just for, for you, if you're, I would say, I would mostly just try to get used to the text and picture first because that's a little bit easier to get a, gra a grasp on. But for video, um, it's, it's gonna be a very similar process to how to get in a picture. Uh, and as long as you have a video that's going to work with the sign, it's pretty easy to get a video to play, but it's just the, the problem and the hard part is getting videos that will work. So the folder that I gave you with all our content in it, that does have a bunch of videos in them and all of those will definitely work. Um, so if I go to the desktop, I go back to that sign graphics. You're gonna have the same folders here. If I go to backgrounds, You'll see that these look pretty similar. We still have the cat, the blue, the clouds, the disco ball. Let's just choose the disco ball one. All right. If I open that up, again, I'm just gonna click on it one time outside of my box to resize it. And then I'm gonna hit import. And what you see here is now that we have a video, we have all these frames on the left. So we have 122 frames. Okay. Um, so this is where I mentioned earlier that message type button, how you only need to click this if you do video. Right. Um, and I'll show you why. So if I hit simulate without clicking it, it looks like the video is not playing, right? Right. Except, oh, there's a little motion there. And then after another five seconds, you'll see it a little more. And it's basically, it's doing this because each frame is playing for five seconds, which is way too long for a frame of video to play for. Right. So if I just click that message type button, now I have a video button here. If I simulate that, 
Now we got our nice video playing.